This video will go over axis stenosis, which is the most common AV axis complication. Axis stenosis can be of three main types. Number one, inflow stenosis, that is within the arterial inflow segment. Number two, juxta anastomotic, that is within the first two centimeters downstream from the anastomosis. Or number three, it can develop in the venous outflow segment. All of these can cause significant fistula malfunction. Juxtanastomotic is the most common type of stenosis in an AV fistula, followed by venous outflow stenosis. Most common locations for stenoses in an AV graft in descending order are graft vein anastomosis, outflow vein stenosis, graft conduit stenosis, and artery graft anastomosis. Let's look at this radiocephalic fistula to understand axis inflow stenosis. Axis inflow stenosis indicates a low flow state due to a stenosis anywhere from the level of the subclavian artery down to the anastomosis. I like to think of axis inflow stenosis as a state of axis hypoperfusion. Now let's talk about juxtanastomotic stenosis. A juxtanastomotic stenosis, as I previously mentioned, is a stenotic lesion that develops in the vein within 2 centimeters of the anastomosis. It is the most common site for axis stenosis and is often the cause of early fistula failure. Next, let's look at this radiocephalic fistula to understand axis venous outflow stenosis. Venous outflow stenosis causes interruption of blood flow downstream from the venous segment of the fistula up into the central veins. 